Cause we go, 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 so 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 we go, go, yeah. Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you're new to this channel, welcome, welcome, welcome. I'm so happy to have you here. Uh, my name is Antonia Gates and I am with Boss Mom Living. That is just my vlogging name and I'm so excited that you click on this video because I love all the things that I've been going through with Zoe. Um, she finally turned eight months and it's been such an exciting time for us. She's been keeping us on our toes and if you've been following our journey, you know that we struggle in the past with infertility and she's like our miracle baby and every month is like a new um, exciting oh I can't wait to see what she does next and then once the after we can't wait to see what she does see what she does next then it's like okay don't do too much of that <laughs> um, yeah so my channel if you're new to this channel is a lot of mom videos. I started it with my pregnancy journey and talking about my infertility story. I also have um, videos about juggling being a mom and working full time. Um, so how I plan out my life. I do um, hauls. I do family vlogs. How um, to, you know, work out and be a mom. I just posted a video about um, my weight loss journey. So just all things that encompasses being a mom, this channel is about. So, happy to have you here. So stay tuned and let's get into what Zoe's been up to. On the swing. Hey, Zoe. Hey, Zoe. Your first time. Yeah. Your first Aww. time on the swing. <laughs> we love you. Let me see who else is in here. Daddy is in here. Hello, there's mommy. mommy. We're here. Zoe's first time. You are so precious. I have a personality and I always have to have things a certain way. Like, I have to write down things so that I don't forget it because I know if I forget it then I'm going to be upset and I just have to know everything. So. I know there was a, a lot of things that she's been doing so that I don't forget to tell you guys. So if you see me look down, that's what I'm looking down for. So one thing she's been doing a lot um, that I'm kind of jealous about is saying Dada. She's been saying Dada. I think I told you guys that with the six month video. By the way, I have two other videos that's kind of like a developmental update. I think I did one around six months and four months, but really um, I just showed you guys some of my favorite products that helped me during that particular part of development around six months and four months. Um, so yeah, she says that a lot. She hasn't said mama yet. Um, well, I lied. She said it once and it was kind of a thing where it's like, okay, is she really saying it or is she saying it just because it came out of nowhere? And it seemed like it came out of nowhere because she said it and then she hasn't said it again. So. Cross your fingers on the next update that she's saying mama. <laughs> and the thing is, she's when she started saying da da, she'll say da da, but she was just saying da 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 da. And we're not knowing if she was saying it because she knew who da da was or she was saying it just to say da da. But now we know she knows who da da is because when da da comes around, she's da 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 da. And she's always reaching her hands up for Dada. She's definitely a daddy's girl right now. She's always reaching her hands up for Dada. Um, and she doesn't say mama yet, so we'll get there. Also, one of my favorite things she does right now is belly laugh. Oh my goodness. I'll just be sitting there doing nothing and she just goes, <laughs> like belly laughing is the cutest. Thing ever. I'll definitely insert a clip of that. Um, another thing that I saw that we definitely need to start doing around this time is baby proofing everything because she is crawling now. So um, I think in the six month video I was saying that she was kind of like wormy crawling, not really up on all fours yet like in a dog position and now she is in a dog position and now she even tries to like 
push myself up to stand up at certain points. So, and she loves to get into everything. I mean, we'll have toys out for her, and or even we'll have her in a playpen, and she tries to crawl out of her playpen, her ball pit, not her playpen, her ball pit, and she tries to crawl out of the ball pit. She could do that because it's not that tall. Um, like if she wants to stand up, she would like hover over it. So it's not that tall, it's just a small little ball pit. Um, and I'll show you guys that she'll stand up and it's cloth material, so she just pushes it down and crawls over it. I mean, she was so persistent in crawling over it that she actually got over it. Once she found out that she can go over it, she does it all the time now when, she's, when she feels like she had enough of playing with the toys in a ball pit. She's too much. If you have a kid around this age and they do some of these same things, give this video a thumbs up or leave a comment below and let me know what your kid is doing. Why are you so damn tired when you just start laughing out of nowhere? You're so annoying. You're so annoying. So the fact that you got out of that playpen by yourself, you cannot be trusted. No. <laughs> oh my goodness. I can't believe he got out of there by himself. <laughs> You're too smart. Zozo. You're too smart. <laughs> Something else that I saw that she's doing that I'm so excited about, um, she's been sitting up since like around six months, but now um, she sits in a, um, when we go to the restaurant, we put her in a high chair. It was her first time after she turned eight months, her first time ever going in a grocery cart and sitting in the chair. So of course, you know, we had to document that. First time for everything. We also, she now has two teeth now. She had one before and then a second one started growing in soon after. So we also did brush her teeth for the first time. She's doing better with bath times. Um, she used to hate bath times, but we also did, we actually, we realized that one thing that she hated about bath time um, was the water getting in her face. So we purchased this product that kind of looks like one of those sun visors that you put on your head when you go to like the beach or something. Um, but it's made especially for a bath time. We put that on her head and she loves it. We have her playing with her rubber ducky in the bathtub and she enjoys it now. So that's one good thing that we definitely enjoy with her. <laughs> hey, Mama. Are you having fun? Of course not. Are you having fun? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> This is going to be Zoe's first time sitting in a shopping cart in Target. You touching mamas? Yeah. Okay, that's the small Zoe. Now, what about mom? Oh, holding hands. Zoe. Hey. Hey. Everyone's so She's enjoying this. Got a little treat for shopping. Zoe, watch what happens if I take it away.
Okay. <laughs> there you go. How bad? You don't want to have that? Okay. Daddy's gonna pay for it. We also realized that when she's crawling, sometimes she'll push her her back legs up her back legs up if she's a dog. She'll push her she'll push her legs up as if she's trying to stand up. So she could be walking pretty soon. Even in the high chair, not in the high chair, in the walker, she actually walks in the walker. Before, like around I would say five, six months, she would only like go backwards if she was moving because she wasn't really walking. It was just her movement would just like push her backwards. But now she knows how to like utilize it I guess and she walks forward in the walker and she'll be walking all around the kitchen, all around the living room, all around the room. She's all over the place. But one of the biggest changes we've seen is that when she wakes up now, this girl, she she wake before she would wake up and start crying, now she wakes up and she just sits in the crib. And sometimes we don't even know like how long she'll she would have been up, but we'll get up and she's just sitting there playing and talking to herself in the crib. So one thing we do have to do that we realize is to lower the crib. You can see it right now, it's kind of higher up. So we need to lower it down because, I don't know if you could tell, but the mobile is slanted. She's figured out how to pull on the toys on the mobile. Um, and try to reach it. So we gotta get some crib toys so that she's not pulling on the mobile. But we also have to lower it. Um, and she's also figured out how to put her hands on top of that pink mesh thing that we have around, like the mesh border around the crib. She figured out how to put her hands through it and like, like she figured out how to put it down and put her hands through the crib. So this girl, she just, she's too much, she's too much. Another thing that we realized is that she's very, um, well, we always known that she's been observant, right? But now, if she, she'll look at you, and if she doesn't want you, she'll let you know that she doesn't want you. So don't put me on you. Like, if mommy puts me on you or near you, no, I'm not having it. Before she used to go on everybody, now she's just like, if I don't know you, or if I look at you and I don't like you, because literally that's how it seems. We did, I mean, one day we, we, we walked into the restaurant and she saw a stranger, she's all smiling with them and they asked to hold her, we handed it off to her, handed it off to them just to hold her. Um, and she was sitting there smiling with them. And then the next day, you know, she'll see somebody else, which she has one time and she's just like, no, you're scary, get away from me and just start crying. So. Um, she's very, like, she understands certain things. Another thing that she does is in the morning, she knows um, what to do to get her milk. So she is going to preschool now. They do a lot of baby signs. So she'll let us know. She'll start fussing because normally she'll wake up in the crib like this and start playing around. But now she wakes up, she'll play around, and then she's like, okay, if they're taking too long to get my milk, then I'm going to let these people know that, like, I'm hungry and y'all better get your butts up and get me my milk. Even if you didn't brush your teeth, take a shower or do whatever, get my milk. Because she'll start bawling down the place. And she also does this now. She knows from school to do milk. So she'll start screaming and crying and she'll go, mm, mm, mm. I don't know if, you know, that she thinks she's saying milk. She knows this is milk, but the mm, mm, mm is not milk. But she, she's obviously trying to tell us something. She does say hi. She does say um, da da. She doesn't say. There's been a couple times we would say words and it sounds like she repeated it, but then it's like, you know, like she probably just said it out of nowhere again, like the mama. 
There's nothing else that she really says consistently right now. Um, let me see if I left off anything else that I want to tell you guys. Oh yeah, so her toy, she is able to push buttons. She's able to like properly play with it before in her um, in her playpen. She would just like try to figure out how to play with the toys, but she now knows like to push buttons to move things. Um, so I would say her fine motor skills are getting better. Oh, her eating. Of course I forgot to tell you that. So she's eating um, puree food still. We do give her water throughout the day. We do give her those tea bear crackers. Um, it's those thin, thin crackers that are shaped like an oval. I don't know if you've ever seen them before. Um, and supposedly, it's supposed to like dissolve in their mouth when they chew on it. And it does dissolve in her mouth and she loves it. We haven't tried like giving her our type of table food yet. If anything, if we ever did do anything like that, we've given her like ice cream. Soft things are like easy things, so it's not like a choking hazard because you know we're new to this and we're still kind of like, ah, we don't know what to do. Um, we've given her like mashed potatoes or sweet potatoes that I made. We've given her like banana smushed up. We've given her um, like when I made, I made an acai bowl, I've given her some of that. So, um, but yeah, nothing too crazy because we're still like, ah, oh, we don't know if we should give her that yet. Um, cause I have heard or seen people say that, you know, we've given them broccoli and I'm just like, I'm just not ready for that yet. My little heart, <coughs> she's growing up too fast. I don't know where this cough comes from, but yeah, not ready for that yet. Um, I'm trying to think, does she eat anything else? Yeah, that's pretty much what we get. We give her the baby food. We do give her, um, we try to give her more of the cold pressed baby food that we found in Target because supposedly the cold pressed baby food, um, they say keeps more of its nutrients in it, um, but we don't give her like like not all her food is made with cold press. We give her cold press food, we give her the jar food, we give her food that I make, so. Um, yeah. Yep, yep, yep. Oh, we also tried her with apple juice. She hated it, doesn't like it. That's okay. She does like, um, I think I had like orange juice one time and she, she drank it from my cup and she did like that, so. Her hair is growing more. Um, you can look at the six month video to this video and see that she looked bald then and now she looked like she has some hair. Um, and I think that's pretty much it. Let's see. Yeah, I think that's pretty much it. We're just so excited for um, her, you know, being more aware of things and being more inquisitive and you know, having that sense of wonder and wanting to get into things, but then at the same time, it's like, you gotta put everything high and be super careful because you don't want her to get into the things. Um, and then something happens. But she enjoys, you know, listening to book at night, listening to us read her books at night, and she still like listening to her baby Einstein videos. So it's, it's a very fun phase because her communication with us has gotten so much better. She's been communicating with us, um, you know, with the bottle or letting us know all these other things. So, yeah, give this video a thumbs up. If you are going through the same thing with your baby, let me know. Connect with me on Instagram. I put so, I mean, literally all my pictures and all my story videos and everything is mainly about her. Because, I mean, she just stole the show. I mean, she's too cute. I can't, can't not put her, you know, on my videos and stuff. She's too cute. <laughs> So yeah, follow me on Instagram if you want to keep up with, you know, my everyday, day-to-day -day type life. And um, again, thank you for watching this video. Um, I would love to hear and connect with you guys and see what's going on in your baby's eight-month update. So until next time, I hope you guys have a great day, no matter what type of day it is for you or what time of the day it is, and I will see you in my next video. Bye.